Hi, my name is Vita. This is Hippie Crow Hub. Today I'm going to share with you how I'm going to upcycle this old towel that I don't like it anymore as a towel. It just doesn't feel fresh, but it's a big textile to get rid of and throw out. I also think donating an old towel is a little bit unhygienic. So what I'm going to do is I will turn it into a bathroom rug or a bath bathroom floor mat, whatever you want to call it. Uh, as we know, uh, when you step out of the bathtub, uh, you need something on the floor because the feet are wet. And I always like to use my own upcycled uh, textiles for that because they don't last forever. I also make sure that I, um, I use something uh, that I can easily toss in the washing machine and dryer so it's not problematic. Also, there's no need to spend so much money on buying uh, new uh, bath floor mats that you will have to replace uh, after a certain amount of time anyway. So this is a new way. I already made one video that I upcycled a bath um, floor mat uh, out of old t-shirts and you can check out the video um, in, in um, my YouTube channel. And uh, this time I'll do it a little bit differently. It's not really a crochet stretchy type of material, so I'm gonna cut it a little bit thicker and I'm gonna use a yarn. Where's my yarn? It's there. <laughs> I'll use my yarn and crochet hooks to go around it and turn it into like a cool circle one. Okay, so let's do this. All right, so first of all, I'm gonna cut it into lines and I wanna use the colors to play nicely. So first line is gonna be thinner and I'll go all the way, but I wanna show how I'm gonna do it. So I'm gonna cut, just remove this. I'm gonna cut the blues around here and then in the center. So basically, I'm going to cut the entire towel into lines like this. Alrighty, and I'll see you when I'm done. Okay, so we cut up all the towel and it's a big noodle mess. Alright, so as you know, when you cut up a towel, you get a lot of lint falling out. Um, to stop it from fraying, we're going to do something when we crochet in the mat, we're going to fold this textile inwards like this. So we'll stop it from making a mess. So, but for now, I want to join all of these straps together to make sure that I have like one long yarn. So when I start crocheting it together, it's just going to be really easy. So this is what I'm going to do. It doesn't have to be neither strong or crazy. It's just to keep it together to help me uh, have my second next step a lot faster and easier. Okay, so simply like this. And the next one. And you can organize your colors how you want. I'm gonna keep shifting them. I'm gonna stock them um, with blue in between, like it was on a towel. Kind of two light ones and one dark blue strap. So when I do all of that, I'll be back for the next step. All right, 
so we're gonna start to crochet this so to uh, first I'll need to make sure I fold this in because I don't want that fraying happening while I use the mat right I'm gonna twirl it a, a little bit I yeah, picked up the base a little bit doing this and the key is to pierce through the yarn under the, the towel and just do very simple crochet the very beginning was tougher to get that rolling going but now that the knitting is, is firm it is very easy to do. And like everything, just takes a little practice. And you pick up the pace. One thing I wanted to share too, that um, I realized that what works better is doing one stitch over one line of a towel that already I've done and then the next one going over the two. It keeps the materials together better. So one will go here. And then the other one will go here. Also, this is these kind of projects is when I use up all my leftover yarns. So I'm doing a lot of mix and match. But in the end it all looks very fun. Next one on two lines. All right, let's keep going. And it's done. Well, that was fun. So, a few things that I wanted to note have to be aware uh, not to pull the yarn too tight to protect it from wonking a little bit but that's not going to be a problem because once I use it it will flatten out it always does and there is a cute little project and I used all sorts of random scraps of yarn too because uh, it, these types of projects I always like to just get rid of all the leftovers and this is just a bath mat so I don't really care but it looks fun it looks hippie and I'm excited to use it and I think that the the towel was well used it was given a second chance a second life all right just want to mention a few more things um, so this video is not too long, it's pretty basic and simple idea. I love doing these kind of things because I'm a homemaker and I like to create opportunities for less waste and I have a lot of fun doing it. I listened to a very cool um, audiobook while I was knitting this entire time and to me that was a time well spent. Okay, also I'm trying out a new way to do my audio editing too. So I made a few videos so just speaking in the video instead of doing a voiceover since the kids are in school now. I have less crazy noise going on. And also I will make the background music a little bit quieter because I got one uh, uh, useful note that the music looping itself is a little bit um, annoying, which is a fair point. And also uh, these 
I, to get like a, a music that is created like a, a piece that doesn't repeat itself it's a little more difficult so I'll have to look into that but um, but for now I'll do this so yes please comment if you have any suggestions or any tips I'm still learning how to make these videos so any tips will be helpful please subscribe and like the support and I wish you a lovely day bye